Through tears, a mother detailed the painful way she learned her child was shot at Timberview High School this week. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Family members say 15-year-old Zacchaeus Selby had to have another surgery this afternoon. Police say he was shot several times in his classroom by 18-year-old Timothy Simpkins, who police say is refusing to speak with detectives. The Selby family says they will not get into it with the family of the 18-year-old shooting suspect who is now claiming he was bullied by the 15-year-old. Instead, they're talking about the panic of that day. Fox 4 Sean Rabb is first tonight at 5. Sean. Yeah, the Selby family say they want to make uh, sure that people know who their young family member is. He was shot four times, Zacchaeus Selby was, and Steve on Wednesday morning about 9-13, 9-14, when other students at Timberview High School picked up cell phones, talk, text, or FaceTime with their parents about the shooting, Zacchaeus Selby FaceTimed his grandmother and mother telling them he had been shot. It's a call no parent can ever be prepared to receive. And he said, Mama, Mama, I've been shot. And I said, what? He said, I've been shot. Oh, my God. And he held the phone. And I saw the hole in his chest. And it was just blood just pouring, pouring, pouring out of his chest. It was all over his clothes. His mouth, his ear, the concrete. That's how Aisha Selby learned her 15-year-old son, Zacchaeus, had been shot Wednesday morning. She rushed to Timberview High School. I was beating on the door, let me in, my baby's in there. But, but you know, they wouldn't let anybody in. And he came out on the stretcher. And I ran to the stretcher and I grabbed his hand and he looked up and he said, I love you. And I said, I love you too. Watching as the ambulance raced with her son to Medical City, Arlington, where today he's undergoing a second four-hour surgery. This football, video game, he's a regular teenager. He's 15, you know, he's my baby. Regular stuff, like snacks and talkies. And I mean, he's just tennis shoes, cell phone, just regular teenager, but he's loving. And he's caring, and he's smart, and he's silly. The family did say that Timothy Simpkins charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and Zacchaeus, who mom calls KK, were in class together, but could not talk about parts of the investigation. And do you know if what they were fighting or could have been fighting about? They're in the same class. Grandmother Kathy Selby spoke up. They asked her not to get into that because that's part of the investigation. Simpkins bonded out of jail Thursday. Arlington police say a 45 caliber weapon they found on Grand Prairie streets is the gun confirmed by ballistics used in the shooting. But they're trying to identify where the gun came from and that the suspect has declined to speak with detectives. That was literally the worst day of my life. I've lost my mother, but this was the worst day of my life. Selby and a teacher, Calvin Pettit, was also injured shot while trying to stop the fight. Staff is telling us that the teacher is concerned, so concerned about him. Aisha said she's been visited by the teacher's mother. Because she said, my, my, yeah, my boy's in the hospital too. And she said, can I pray with you? And when he's out of surgery today, mama said she's going to tell him. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him I, I, I'm gonna tell him I love him. And we're going to do the same thing. Mommy loves you. And if you can hear me, squeeze my hand. So that's how uh, they've been communicating, Steve. Since he's been here, she would say, if you hear what I'm saying, squeeze my hand. And she tells me that Zacchaeus or KK would respond by squeezing her hand. I have got a message from her just a bit ago. The second surgery went well. He's out and now in recovery. But uh, getting better a little at a time. More surgeries could be in the future. It's going to be a long journey back.